Hey guys, it's Blizzard Dude here with another video, and this time I'm going to be doing another Clash Royale video. You guys really seem to like the series on Clash Royale, so of course I'm going to continue it. I like the game, you guys like the game. Perfect combo. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to counter one of the most deadly cards in the game, which everyone thinks is so hard to counter, but really it's not. You'll see in this video. So, I'm going to be countering the dreaded Sparky. So, one, let me say, he's a legendary, which is kind of hard to get. But still, somehow so many people have him. I got him from a super magical chest I got from battle. But somehow so many people have him. So, first first thing is I'm going to show you, like, the basics of Sparky. Then I'm going to show you a couple of cards to counter Sparky. And then I'm going to show you a battle I did, which perfectly highlights how to counter it. So, first thing... Sparky is a legendary card that costs 6 elixir, does 1,300 area damage, and 1,200 health. It char it's charge time speed, so the time it can attack is 5 seconds, which is long. It cannot hit air troops, and it takes 1 second to deploy. So, the reason so many people are scared of it is because 1, it's high health, 1,200, and 2, it does 1,300 area damage, which is a lot. Sparky has a heavy-handed approach to life. Obliterate everything in sight. Makes sense. So, some cards to counter Sparky are these eight cards I don't suggest putting into a deck. You can, but it may not work too well. So first, the goblins, because they can get off a lot of damage, but you don't always need to get damage off on Sparky, because you could use it as a distraction, because Sparky will fire its laser, and then... It'll take 5 seconds to charge, and that'll give time for your tower to get a lot of damage off. Skeletons are the same deal with goblins, except they cost 1 elixir less. Minions, because they cost 3 elixir, which is fine, but they're very effective, because Sparky sure can't hit them, and or can't hit them, but they do 77 damage per second, and that's 221 damage per second pretty much, the three of them together, if no one, if nothing counters them. So, and Sparky has 1,200 health, so that's very effective. The freeze spell, because if you freeze the Sparky, then it will stop the Sparky's charge. Valkyrie, because it can get off a lot of damage, 192 area damage, pretty much 200, and it will take two shots from the Sparky to kill, since it has 1,408 health. Minion Horde, because it's a positive elixir trade, one elixir less, and 84 damage per second times 6, since there's 6 minions, is very effective. So, Zap Spell, because if you use it on the Sparky, it will can cancel its charge, like the Freeze. And Tombstone, because um, Sparky will have to zap the Tombstone, then the Skeletons will come out, do a lot of damage to Sparky. If Sparky can somehow survive, then it has to shoot the Skeletons next, then it can go for the tower, and that will take a total of 15 seconds to hit the tower, 10 seconds to destroy the Tombstone and the Skeletons. So, now I'm just going to show you a battle, not where I use this deck, but where I use four troops from this deck, the Valkyrie, Minion, Horse, Skeleton, and Free Spell, as in my main deck, and I'm going to show you how I countered the Sparky. So it's a pretty, lay, um, pretty close battle. I didn't do it too long ago. So here it is. I'm versing a guy that I do not know his name. <laughs> so this guy is a pretty cool deck. The m most strategies for Sparky is put him behind a tank or put it behind. Oh, sorry. Put her behind a tank. I know Sparky is a girl. It's pretty weird. I think it's a machine, but I guess it's a girl for some reason. So I'm going to start off with a Valkyrie, because Valkyries walk slow, and it'll take her a while to get there. And this person, I'm not going to say guy or girl, but I don't know, spawns in Spear Goblins to try to damage my Valkyrie, and doesn't really work because I spawned in a wizard. He spawns in, or, it, um, the person spawns in a Sparky, and the thing with Sparky is whenever someone sees the Sparky, they always get so scared because they're like, Oh no, 1,300 damage on my tower. That could take it all in like two or three hits. That's so effective. But they don't know. And if that's your friend, tell them to watch this video. So I freeze it to stop its charge. And I fireball and it takes it out. And surprisingly, my wizard can easily take out this tower. So, I got a tower down in 2 minutes and 18 seconds or 17 seconds. 
So now, I've only spawned in two cards, I'm pretty sure. No, four cards, Fireball, Valkyrie, and Wizard, and I already took out their tower. So now, this person's spawning in a Royal Giant, and I love Skeleton Minion Harding Royal Giant. It's so effective. And he spawns, uh, they spawn in a Witch, which is actually, uh, pun intended, which is really smart, but I can easily counter it since the witch doesn't take out the minions in two shots. So I Valkyrie to take out everything there. So I'm hoping my Valkyrie can hit the tower, but she spawns in cannon and cannot because she gets distracted. So now we're kind of calm. I'm on elixir advantage. I have two more elixir, but nothing's really happening at the moment. So what's going to happen is this person... I'm thinking, what should I do? So, I'm going to do my old combo, the Hog Rider, Goblin Barrel, trying to get nice damage off on the tower. And, I f Do I freeze? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I freeze, but it was a bad idea, because they spawn a bomber and destroys my Hog Rider. So, right now, I'm going to... Okay, so I see the Sparky, I'm like, oh shoot, that thing is... Uh-uh, I don't like it. So, I'm going to Wizard the Bomber, I don't know why I did. Probably because I didn't want to get damage off of my tower from the bomber. And the Sparky's still rolling, doing fine, not getting stopped from a charge. Spawns in a royal giant, I'm like, oh shoot, that's bad. A witch. I spawned my minion horde in the wrong spot, and the and as you can see there, you probably couldn't see it, but the Sparky hit the Valkyrie, and it didn't take it on one shot, like I said before. So now it's they're just, he um this person's just completely wrecking my tower. I don't know what to do. Spawns in another sparky. I'm like oh shoot. So I fireball trying to take out everything. I I take out everything except for the sparky, which of course takes out my tower. So right now it's one one, but I have a lot um a good amount of damage on it um their crown tower. So the sparky gets one hit off on my crown tower. Do the old hog rider goblin barrel, and I have to defend my own tower of course. So I got okay amount of damage there and I'm like you know what? I gotta get this I gotta get some damage I freeze I horrible play never do that and I even missed the art the um uh, the other tower I got a bit of damage but it wasn't that effective I fireball trying to hit the witch I failed so uh, since I don't have my minion heart I valkyrie skeletons then I see oh my gosh you have another sparky <sighs> so I minion heart and take it out easily so if you ever see this kind of push, just tell yourself, just quit the match because you pretty much lost. Because look what happens here. And I just freeze, why not? And there, tower's dead. So that's a good match to show you how to counter the Sparky. So I hope you guys can easily counter the Sparky now. So thanks guys for watching. Subscribe and like the video if you liked it. Um, tell me more Clash Royale content you want to see. And I'll see you, dudes, next time. Goodbye.